Hello friends, today we are going to do baseline correction of an XPS data. For this application, we are going to use origin software. So first let me open this origin software. I am using origin 8.6 for this application. Here in this file, I have an XPS data of barium. So here I have the characteristic binding energy along the x-axis and counts per second CPS along the y-axis. So I can plot this data and I get a graph like this. Now we can see that the baseline of this graph is not correct. So before fitting this data we need to correct its baseline. After that, we can fit its peak. For peak fitting, you can check my video on single and multiple peak fitting. Now, in this target, we want to fit its baseline. To do so, first go to this analysis option. In this analysis option, you will find an option named as peak and baseline. Further, in this, you will get this option, Peak Analyzer. Go to this and open dialog box. So, yes. Now, we are going to fit our baseline. So, for this application, first, we will stay on this manual mode. After that, we will choose Subtract Baseline in these options. After that we will switch to next. So it is showing a red line which is a constant. But we don't want it to be constant. We want it to be user defined. So we select this and after that you can select this option Seversky Gole option. Yes. Now in this fitting you can choose the number of points required for your fitting. I can choose it to be 10 and then press find. So it is randomly finding some points which uh, the program is thinking is the baseline but we can edit this uh, later on. So after that you press next. So now in this option, first we have interpolation. So what kind of interpolation between these points you want? So for this application, please choose this spline option and you will see that the linear portion has been changed to the splines. But still it is not fitting our baseline. So now what we will do, we will press this point modify or delete. So when I will press this one, so a dialog box will open and with this I get the freedom to set these points to the required place. So in this case I can pick this point and place it somewhere around here. I can pick this point and place it somewhere around here. So, so in this way I first tried to fit my baseline but now let us correct it again. So this is the noisy data. I want this just to be above zero. So just make it a little bit lower. So the main feature in this baseline correction, this line 
should be a smooth curve so after that when you are done with this fitting you can press this button done and now you can press next in this bar it is giving you subtract option so you can subtract this baseline and you can look at it if it is fine or not if you don't feel this to be fine then you come back to the previous step and go to previous editing again now you can again modify your points but as long as we are getting that this line is close to the zero and it seems to be flat so it seems like our baseline correction is okay so now press finish and this is your data after baseline correction now if you look at so if we look at this data we will find that this is not the data we started with so this is the data after subtracting the baseline data which we obtained after fitting so if i plot this i am getting this data which i have obtained after baseline fitting so in this way you can fit the baseline of either your raman data your xps data or similarly many others thanks for watching if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you